five common medications that can damage your kidneys. Medications are often considered a double-edged sword because while they can effectively treat and manage various health conditions, they can also cause adverse effects and complications if not used correctly. On one hand, medications can alleviate symptoms, cure infections, control chronic diseases, and improve quality of life. On the other hand, they can lead to side effects, drug interactions, and long-term health issues such as organ damage or dependency. Today, we're discussing a crucial topic, five common medications that can damage your kidneys. Your kidneys are vital organs that perform essential functions like filtering your blood, removing toxins, balancing body fluids, and helping manage blood pressure. Keeping your kidneys healthy is essential for maintaining your overall well-being. However, some commonly prescribed medications can have severe adverse effects on these critical organs if not used properly. In this video, we'll delve into five widely used medications that have the potential to cause kidney damage. This information is especially important for those on long-term medication, those with pre-existing kidney conditions, or anyone concerned about their kidney health. The purpose of this video is not to scare you, but to educate and empower you to make informed decisions about your health. Always consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your medication regimen. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how to protect your kidneys and maintain a healthier lifestyle. Let's dive right in. 1. Antibiotics Certain antibiotics, such as aminoglycosides, vancomycin, and cephalosporins can be directly toxic to the cells and the kidneys. These antibiotics accumulate in the kidney's proximal tubular cells, leading to cellular damage and acute tubular necrosis. This results in decreased kidney function and acute kidney injury. Some antibiotics can trigger an allergic reaction within the kidneys, causing interstitial nephritis. This condition involves inflammation of the tissue surrounding the kidney tubules, which can lead to impaired kidney function. Common culprits include penicillins, cephalosporins, and sulfonamides. Antibiotics can induce oxidative stress in kidney cells, leading to damage. Reactive oxygen species generated during antibiotic metabolism can damage cellular components, resulting in kidney cell injury and impaired function. Antibiotics such as sulfonamides and some antivirals can form crystals in the urine. These crystals can block the kidney tubules, leading to obstruction, inflammation, and acute kidney injury. 2. Diuretics Diuretics, commonly known as water pills, increase urine output, which can lead to significant fluid loss. If fluid intake is not adequately maintained, this can result in dehydration and reduce blood volume. Dehydration can decrease blood flow to the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste and toxins effectively. This can lead to acute kidney injury or exacerbate existing kidney conditions. Diuretics can cause imbalances in electrolytes such as sodium, potassium, and magnesium by promoting their excretion in the urine. These imbalances can impair kidney function and lead to conditions such as hypokalemia low potassium levels or hyponatremia low sodium levels. Severe electrolyte disturbances can be harmful to the kidneys and overall health. Excessive use of diuretics can lead to significant loss of intravascular volume, also known as volume depletion. This condition can decrease renal perfusion, causing the kidneys to suffer from reduced oxygen and nutrient supply leading to ischemic injury and potential kidney damage. 3. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAIDs such as ibuprofen, naproxen, and aspirin inhibit the production of prostaglandins, which normally help dilate blood vessels in the kidneys. Without these prostaglandins, blood flow to the kidneys is reduced, 
which can decrease the kidney's ability to filter blood effectively. This reduction in blood flow can lead to acute kidney injury. Long-term use of NSAIDs can lead to chronic kidney damage. The persistent reduction in blood flow and repeated episodes of acute kidney injury can cause scarring and permanent damage to kidney tissues, eventually leading to chronic kidney disease. NSAIDs can cause an inflammatory reaction in the kidneys known as interstitial nephritis. This condition involves inflammation of the spaces between the kidney tubules and can lead to impaired kidney function and acute kidney injury. In rare cases, NSAIDs can cause a condition known as papillary necrosis, where the tissue in the kidney papillae, the areas where urine drains into the renal pelvis, dies. This can lead to severe kidney damage and impaired function. Four chemotherapy drugs. Certain chemotherapy agents, such as cisplatin and methotrexate, are directly toxic to kidney cells. They can cause damage to the renal tubules, which are responsible for filtering and reabsorbing substances from the blood. Chemotherapy drugs can reduce blood flow to the kidneys, leading to ischemic injury. This decreased blood flow deprives the kidneys of oxygen and nutrients, impairing their function. Some chemotherapy drugs can increase the risk of kidney stone formation. These stones can obstruct the urinary tract leading to kidney damage or infection if not promptly treated. Metabolites or breakdown products of certain chemotherapy drugs can be nephrotoxic, meaning they can directly damage kidney cells and impair kidney function over time. 5. Proton Pump Inhibitors Proton pump inhibitors such as omeprazole and esomprazole are medications commonly used to treat conditions like acid reflux and stomach ulcers by reducing the production of stomach acid. While effective for these purposes, long-term use of PP is has been associated with potential kidney damage through several mechanisms. Prolonged use of PP is has been linked to an increased risk of chronic kidney disease. This association may be due to repeated episodes of subclinical acute interstitial nephritis that go unnoticed and untreated gradually causing chronic damage to the kidneys over time. PP is can interfere with the kidney's ability to filter and excrete waste products efficiently, leading to a decline in renal function. This impaired function can be exacerbated in individuals with pre-existing kidney conditions or those taking other nephrotoxic medications. PP is can cause low levels of magnesium in the blood, which is known as hypomagnesemia, which is associated with kidney damage. Low magnesium levels can impair kidney function and increase the risk of kidney disease. PP is can interact with other medications that are metabolized by the kidneys, potentially increasing the risk of kidney damage or affecting how well the kidneys function. To prevent adverse effects from medications and ensure safe usage, consider the following precautions. Use the smallest effective dose for the briefest necessary duration. Drink plenty of fluids to prevent crystal formation and support kidney health. Regularly monitor kidney function, especially when taking nephrotoxic antibiotics for long periods. Only use antibiotics as prescribed by a healthcare provider. Avoid self-medication. By following these guidelines, you can reduce the risks associated with medication use and enhance your overall health and well-being. In conclusion, we've discussed five common medications that can harm your kidneys if not used with caution. Remember, your kidneys are crucial to your overall health, so it's important to take care of them and seek professional advice for any concerns about medication use. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more valuable insights on maintaining a healthy lifestyle.